Hello and welcome back to the Snake's Paw. Today's entry is a special compilation episode, Clone of My Own, the complete series, written by Matthew Morris, with voices by Helen Jacks, Andrew Ferrier, and me, Jack Townsend. If you like what you hear, you can find more about us at our website at thesnakespaw.com. You can also follow us on Twitter or Instagram at thesnakespaw. Or if you'd like to support us, you can give a donation or subscribe to our Ko-Fi, that's ko-fi.com slash thesnakespaw. Enjoy the show! Thank you for calling the Clone of My Own support line. For information about Clone of My Own, please press 1. If you would like to file a complaint or request a refund, press 2. If you have questions regarding the legal and moral implications of clone ownership, press 3. If you are experiencing a clone-related emergency, immediately hang up and dial 911. If your clone is experiencing rapid genome degradation, extract the vial of cyanide from the back of your Clone of My Own instructional handbook and administer the substance orally in order to end your clone's unspeakable misery. Para Español, presione nueve. If you would like to speak to a representative, press the pound key. All of our representatives are currently occupied. Please hold. Your estimated wait time is five minutes. like to have a clone of your own? After ordering one of our easy-to-use DNA kits, simply secure a sample of your own DNA, mail it in with the check or money order, and have yourself shipped to your door in six to eight business days. Remember, a house without a clone is a house that's not a home. Hello, and thank you for calling Clone of My Own. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. How can I help you? Hey, I wasn't sure which button to press. I don't exactly want a refund, but it's a little more complicated than a complaint. What appears to be the problem? I sent in the DNA kit a couple weeks ago, and it was definitely my own DNA. There's no doubt about that. But the clone you sent isn't me. Oh, this happens a lot. If you've never seen a clone of yourself before, it may take time to adjust. Your brain can actually trick you into thinking it's another person, since people are used to seeing themselves in the mirror. I don't think that's what's going on here. What makes you think that? For starters, her hair is blonde. Ah, Okay, you may have received someone else's clone by mistake. You don't say. I do have to ask, are you sure this person is in fact a clone? Yes. I mean, it has to be, right? She was in the gestation pod in the crate you sent me. Not necessarily. I'll need to ask you a few questions before we proceed. When you opened the crate, did you see any indication that the package had been tampered with? No, uh, not that I was looking. Thank you. When you opened the gestation pod, was the protective seal intact? I'm not sure. What does the protective seal look like? It's a vacuum seal. There's an easy way to tell. When you opened the gestation pod, did it release a stream of vapor? A what? A thick white vapor. I don't think so. That sounds cool. I think I'd remember that. Hmm. You're sure? Not really. That complicates things a little, but... It's possible that the seal broke in transit. Hold on. What are you saying? Why are you asking this? There have been a few incidents where a person removed a clone from its gestation pod before its rightful owner was able to access it. You think some random woman crawled into my clone pod? And what, just dumped my clone in a ditch somewhere? Do I have a crazy lady in my house right now? No, Probably not. Probably? Almost certainly not. When gestation pods are compromised, the clones have usually gone missing. I only know of one instance where someone else was in the pod, and that was a twin playing a practical joke on his brother. I have to ask these questions to narrow down the possibilities. But if you ended up with a totally different clone, and there's no sign of your clone anywhere, and no indication that the crate was tampered with, it was probably a mix-up at the warehouse. Oh, good. So either a mix-up at the warehouse or an insane woman is trying to pass herself off as a clone of me. 
I think we can safely assume it was just a mix up. In that case, if you give me your order number, we can double check our records and determine where things went wrong. Once we figure out the problem, we can either issue you a refund or send a replacement clone with the DNA we have on file. Matter of fact, we should confirm that the correct DNA is on file. When using the DNA kit, were you careful to ensure that your DNA wasn't contaminated in any way? Absolutely. If you're thinking this woman's DNA got mixed in with mine, there's no way. You don't know any women who look like her? Well, no, but I meant it couldn't be a woman. I sent in a semen sample. Whoa. You can just send in some hairs or a swab of spit. Why would you send semen? That's not even in the instruction manual. I don't know. I was just jerking off already, and I figured we make babies with it, so maybe it's better DNA for making clones. Better DNA? Better DNA. All of your DNA... Never mind. To be on the safe side, we will send you another DNA kit. Just use the swab this time. And in your mouth, please. What's your order number? Uh, I've got it right here. Um, 865C83. Thank you. Can you confirm your name? Christopher Lundgren. Thank you. Would you like to confirm your DNA and receive another clone, or do you want a refund? I'd still like to get my clone, though I would appreciate some form of compensation for all of this. It's kind of a hassle. Understandable. We could offer you a coupon if you might like to get another clone someday, or you could give it to someone you know. Give me a moment. Okay, another DNA kit is on its way to you. Once we confirm your DNA, we will send a fresh clone priority to your door. Just make sure not to leave it unattended. Thank you for calling Clone of My Own, and if you don't mind answering a survey once the call is concluded- Hold up, hold up. What do, what do I do with the clone woman? Oh, right. We can send a collection team around in two to three days, and they will take the clone off your hands for processing. So I've just got to keep this woman in my house for two or three days and feed her? And I don't have any clothes for her. Is she even housebroken? I realize it's an inconvenience, but you're out of state, so we won't be able to get a collection team out there any sooner than Thursday. <sighs> there is another option. Yes, please. What is it? In the back of your Clone of My Own instructional handbook, it should be in the crate with the gestation pod, there's a small tube with a colorless liquid in it. Uh, uh, yeah, I see it. Officially, we're only supposed to use it on clones that have advanced rapid genome degradation, but processing takes up a lot of time and paperwork, and it's a headache for you too. I'll put this one down as a clone with RGD. If the woman calls to complain, her clone was lost in transit. The collection team can just pick up the body on Thursday or Friday, whoa, and you won't have to whoa, worry no, about no, any... No, 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 uh-uh. We don't even know for sure that it's a clone. What if it's just a crazy woman? I mean, even if she is crazy, that's still murder. Okay, then. Have it your way. But you'll have to take care of her. I'll send a collection team around later this week, and they'll confirm whether she's a clone and put her through processing. I'm including a clone of my own coupon in the DNA kit we're sending to you. Do you have any additional questions? Will I be compensated for the food I have to buy for this lady clone? I've included a coupon in the... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's for the, the sending me a lady clone in the first place, but that's not going to cover... I will also include a rebate in your order. If you send that in, you will receive a partial refund of 8% on the clone you ordered. Will that suffice? Hmm. Works for me. Is that it? Yes. Thank you for calling the Clone of My Own customer support hotline. Please stay on the line to answer a survey to give us customer support feedback. Did you find your Clone of My Own customer support experience satisfactory? Press a number between 1 and 5, with 1 being least satisfactory and 5 being most satisfactory. Was your representative quick, helpful, and efficient? Did they speak clearly and audibly? Press a number between 1 and 5, with 1 being least satisfactory and 5 being most satisfactory. Thank you. If you have any additional comments, please speak after the sound of the tone. The rep was polite and took care of the problem. My only complaint is that he kind of shamed me for my choice of DNA sample. Oh, and he promoted homicide, which felt a little unprofessional. Other than that, I'm very satisfied.
All of our representatives are currently occupied. Please hold. Your estimated wait time is 10 minutes. When ordering a clone of your own, bear in mind that a person only has proprietary rights to their own DNA. Ordering a clone of anyone other than yourself is a form of identity fraud, a federal crime under the Identity Theft and Assumption Deterrence Act, punishable by up to 15 years in a federal prison. So if you want to get Cheryl at the office into your sex dungeon, you're going to have to do more than just pull out a few of her hairs. Here at Clone of My Own, we believe that clones make the man. Want to impress your co-workers? Have a clone collect their coats at your dinner party, and have another serve the drinks, and another giving back rubs. No task is too- Hello, thank you for calling Clone of My Own. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. How can I assist you today? I just received a new clone the other day after a mix-up a few weeks ago. In fact, I think you might be the rep I talked to. That's possible. How can I assist you? Did they ever figure out if the woman was a clone or not? I don't have that information at my disposal. What seems to be the issue? I got the right clone this time. It's me, so that's good. But it's given me problems. Can you describe what kind of problems you've been experiencing with your clone? I don't know. It's not one particular thing. It's lots of little things. He keeps messing with the thermostat, even though I've told him not to several times. Twice now, he's hidden my car keys. I was late for work yesterday. He said he just moved them, but I get the feeling he's doing it on purpose. Every time he uses the ladle, he puts it up in the wrong drawer. Other stuff, too. It's not uncommon to have some initial friction with the new clone, if you refer to your Clone of My Own instructional handbook, you will find guidelines for acclimating your clone to domestic life. Yeah, you... I read all that stuff. Seems like a lot of work, but I did try some of it. That exercise for uh, subordinating your clone's ego was useless. He literally pantsed me in the middle of it. It's important that you follow all of the guidelines to the letter. I did. Clone is spastic as hell, though. He won't pay attention. Constantly makes fun of me. He keeps teasing me about how big my ears are. Shit doesn't even make sense. He's an exact clone of me, but he says he's only got him because I've got him, which, I mean, it's hard to argue with that. Did you consult the troubleshooting section in the back of the clone of my own instructional handbook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of that did any good. Can't you just send me a replacement clone, one that's less shitty? I'm not... I don't know if that will help. It might. Could be this one's busted. That happens sometimes, right? It can. There is a small chance that a clone may exhibit physical or mental abnormalities, including psychotic fugue states, telepathy, extra limbs, and erectile dysfunction. I don't think that's the problem. My clone doesn't have hands coming out of his ears or anything. He's just an asshole. Keep in mind that virtually all clones are subject to existential despair, dissociative identity disorders, and a violent resentment toward their proto-self. Meaning me, right? Right. But that's what the Clone of My Own instructional handbook is for, to curb those tendencies before they become habitual. What if it's too late? Look, can't I just get a new clone and see? Well, sir, here's the thing. Your clone is cloned from your DNA, correct? Yeah. So if there isn't anything wrong with it, that is, if there are no genetic abnormalities, then if we send you another clone, it may very well continue to exhibit the same sort of behavior. Hold up. Are you implying that my clone is an asshole because... Not cool, man. Look, it's not too late to make the most of the clone you already have. Try following the guidelines and exercises in the Clone of My Own instructional handbook on a daily basis. If you haven't seen any progress in the next few days, you have the option of hiring a training assistant to facilitate matters. But that does entail a pretty considerable... Um, is everything okay? Oh, what is... No, no, no! He's rubbing his balls on everything! Excuse me? Don't! What the... Those are balls! My God! 
<sighs> Sir? He's naked. He's naked and he's rubbing his balls on my stuff. On my furniture, on my doorknobs. He gets worse every day. Hey, what the fuck? Stop that. No, bad. Oh, god damn. He teabagged my dog. That's messed up. That is so messed up. Because not only did I have to watch someone teabag my dog, I had to watch myself teabag my dog. God, and now my dog thinks I teabagged him. See? Now that isn't normal, is it? Do clones normally just teabag the hell out of things? <laughs> hey! Did you hear me? Are you... are you laughing? No, sir, of course not. Well, then answer me! It's not a complaint I've heard before, no, but... Clones can be unpredictable if they're not properly acclimated. Oh, so you're blaming me for all of this. Not at all. I couldn't tell you what the problem is. All I can say is that it doesn't sound like a genetic abnormality. It's a behavioral issue. But if it's gotten that bad, I would recommend hiring a trainer to assist with the acclimation process. Uh, didn't you say that costs extra? Yes, that service does not come with the purchase of a clone. We do have an optional five-year platinum warranty that covers... Oh, is that how this racket works? You sell people clones who go into their houses and mess shit up, just hiding people's keys and teabagging their dogs right in front of them. And then you're all, oh, hmm, you didn't follow the instructions right, even though you did exactly what they said. Here, pay for this extra bullshit. As it states in your clone of my own instructional handbook... Oh, I swear to God, if you say the whole name of that goddamn book one more time. As it says in the handbook, clone of my own will only replace a clone if it exhibits congenital defects and cannot be held liable <laughs> well, this for... this sure feels like a con with genitals. Is that close enough? I appreciate your wit, sir, but your clone's behavior does not meet our requirements for a faulty product claim. He just farted on the butter! What? The clone got my butter out of the fridge, and he brought it into the living room, and he farted on the butter. This is what I'm talking about. It's just juvenile behavior. And now he's back in the kitchen, probably farting on my bread. Would you like me to schedule a training session with one of our professional clone oh, handlers? He brought it all the way from the kitchen, just so I'd see. He looked me in the eyes while he did it. Is that better or worse than not knowing about it? I honestly don't know. Would you like me to schedule a training session? I can have a handler there in two days. Oh, he can fart on so much in two days. Okay, let's see. I think I can get someone there tomorrow afternoon. I might kill him before then. Killing your clone will void your 90-day warranty. Should I schedule a session for tomorrow afternoon? I guess. I mean, what other choice do I have? Okay, I have you down for an appointment between 3 and 5 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Your clone handler will be Josh. He's been training clones for over four years, so your clone will be in good hands. How much is this going to put me back? That will depend on how many sessions you need. Josh will contact you directly later today with more information. The first session will only cost half his usual fee, and you can decide if you'd like to continue after that. <sighs> well, that is a very evasive answer. What do I do with this clone until then? If their behavior becomes really unruly, you could lock them in a closet, a bathroom, or a basement. Just make sure they don't have access to anything like straight razors, knives, guns, chainsaws, etc. Or glass, sharp corners, really anything that could even vaguely be construed as a weapon. Cool, cool. Not terrifying at all. Is there anything else I can help you with? Any questions? Oh, so many questions, but I really don't want to talk to you anymore. Thank you for calling the Clone of My Own customer support hotline. Please stay on the line to answer... Hello, thanks for calling Clone of My Own. This call may be monitored. How can I help you? Hey! I oh, it's you again. How do I always get the same rep? Th that doesn't matter. Look, shit has really gone downhill. What appears to be your problem? Don't you remember me? I talked to a lot of people. I called three days ago. My dog got teabagged. You might have the wrong hotline, sir. No, my clone. You, you seriously don't remember me. Listen, I handle up to 50 calls a day. Yesterday, this guy called in in the middle of an existential crisis after his clone shot himself in the face with a shotgun. Dude lost and found God while he was on the phone with me. He asked me if that's what he looks like inside. I'm like, man, that's what we all look like inside. Jesus. So to answer your question, no, I don't remember your dog teabagging you. That's not... Just tell me what's up. 
A few days ago, I called because my clone was misbehaving, acting out, messing with me. It was obnoxious, but now? Now? Oh, it's on a whole different level, man. Let's go step by step. Okay, so you assigned a, what do you call him? A handler. You scheduled a handler to come out. I was going to lock my clone up in the storage closet till he got there. Only that son of a bitch got the jump on me. I don't know how he knew. Maybe he listened in on part of the call. Anyway, I'm the one who ended up in the storage closet. And when the handler got there the next day, my clone pretended to be me and said that I was the clone. Oh, damn. Come on, rogue. Keep going. Yeah. So he passed himself off as me and had the handler train me as if I was the clone. Dude, that eco subordination shit, that is humiliating. Did they make you do that thing with the ball gag and the adult diaper? Let's not get into the details. It was not a good day. And the whole time my clone was just watching me with a sick grin on his face. I tried telling the handler what happened, but he's all like, I think I know a clone when I see one. Talking about how they all say that. What else did he do to you? The handler just did a few of those messed up exercises and left. Honestly, y'all overcharge for that service. And don't think for a second I'm going to pay for that session either. What did the clone do after the handler left? He kept up the charade, pretending he's me, just to mock me, I guess. Or maybe to fuck with my head. Asked if I was going to be a good clone now. Damn, that's some alpha shit. Excuse me? I asked what happened next. Today, he locked me in the storage closet again and went out. God knows what he's doing right now. I managed to break out, but he could be back any time. I've got a knife, and I've got the poison from the handbook, but I could really use some help. This clone is tricky, and I want to make sure this is taken care of. Dude's afraid of his own clone. Hey, I can hear you. Sorry, man, but this is legendary. A rogue clone? That's one in a thousand. Oh, lucky me. Do I win a prize? I'm just saying it doesn't happen every day. Most people can handle their clones. What are you saying? It's like owning a dog. Did your dog ever lock you in the storage closet? Well, that's right. Your dog teabagged you. My dog did not. (sighs) I want to talk to your supervisor. Hold on. How do I know you're not the clone? What? Let me talk to your boss. What if you're the clone and you killed your proto self and now you're trying to play it off to get money out of us? If the clone I ordered from your company murdered me, then I definitely want my money back. And as my closest living relative, that money would rightfully go to my clone. So either way, let me talk to your fucking boss. All right. Chill out. I'm putting you through. Did you know the word doppelganger refers to a person who looks exactly like another living person? In folklore, seeing your doppelganger was a harbinger of bad luck or even an omen of death. But that's just an old superstition. Seeing your clone won't kill you. In fact, your clone can save your life. Not sure if that casserole is still good? Have your clone taste it first. In deep with the mob, leave the country and let your clone take the fall. Hello, this is Dave, a supervisor at the Clone of My Own Customer Support Hotline. How can I help you resolve your problem? Are you fucking with me right now? Sir, I... I can tell it's you. Who do you think you're fooling? You're not even trying to disguise your voice. No, sir, I'm the supervisor. However, we are clones of the same individual. You've got clones working there? Yes, sir. But I can assure you we are all well-trained and eager to help you in any way possible. The customer service representative gave me a summary of your problem. Hold on. How do I know it's not still you and you're just faking? If you want to get technical from a purely biological point of view, it is the same person. We are physiologically indistinguishable. Now, if you want to get into the metaphysics of personhood... No, I just want a refund and some protection if that's possible, but I'd like to talk to someone who sounds different. I hate your voice. I'm afraid that's not possible. Every employee at Clone of My Own is a clone of the company's founder. Oh, Christ. Are you all equally incompetent? We all possess the same intrinsic characteristics, but as someone who has been a clone for longer, I have seniority and a good deal more experience. From what I understand, we have a rogue clone situation on hand. That's right. How exciting. We will, of course, need to verify your identity before we proceed to ensure that you are not the clone. Oh my god, it never ends. Do you remember your clone of my own pin code? 8579. 
And just to confirm, I'll have to ask one of your security questions. What is the name of the first pet you ever had? Mr. Flop Flops. Thank you. Now that your identity as the DNA source has been confirmed, we can help resolve this little kerfuffle. I call it a little more than a kerfuffle. My clone kidnapped me and stole my identity. He could be murdering someone in my name at this very moment. We will do our best to ensure that doesn't happen. Fortunately, your clone has a tracking device implanted in his cranium. It's hard to say, but based on these coordinates, he appears to be at a gentleman's club. My clone is at a strip club? You, uh, may want to cancel your credit cards once this call is concluded. Are you going to stop him? A termination team has just been dispatched to your clone's location. To be on the safe side, we will also send a small team to watch over your house. Please remain vigilant and do not leave your home until we call back to confirm that your clone has been neutralized. Thank God. Now, I hope y'all are going to make this right in more ways than one. Of course, sir. We understand that you may be wary of clone of my own after this experience, but we assure you that rogue clones are quite the rarity. We will offer you a full refund regardless. If you would like to purchase another clone of yourself, however, we can offer a fresh clone at a 50% discount along with free training sessions to guarantee that we don't end up with another rogue clone situation. Uh, I'll think about it. I would like a clone, but this ordeal has given me second thoughts. Understandable, sir. Customer satisfaction is our number one priority. Perhaps we could entice you with a two clones for the price of one offer? If I can't get one clone under control. True, true. Well, we will take care of this ASAP, and I will call back once the issue's been fully resolved. Is there anything else you would like to discuss? Yeah, that rep I was talking to before was a real dick. You should probably fire him. Hmm. Yes, that representative will be properly disciplined, I can assure you. I'd like him to be fired. He was extremely rude. We can't exactly fire him because we don't exactly pay him. We are clones, after all, but he will almost certainly be liquidated and replaced. Oh, shit. Y'all gonna kill him? Isn't that a little extreme? You know what? Go right ahead. He was an absolute douche. Excellent. Anything else? I think that's it. Uh... Thanks so much. They need more clones like you. I appreciate that. And what do you know? I've just gotten word that your clone has been neutralized. Wow. <laughs> that was so quick. We aim to please. Have a good day, sir. And I hope you continue to shop with clone of my own in the future. Thanks. I think I might. Thank you for calling the Clone of My Own support line. For information about... All of our representatives are currently occupied. Please hold. Your estimated wait time is... Five minutes. Need a liver transplant? Organ donors hard to come by? Guess who has the same blood type as you? Of course, your clone. But if you're ordering a clone for medical reasons, make sure to mark the medical grade clone option on your clone of my own request form. It costs a little extra, but it will guarantee your clone is in tip top condition. You wouldn't want another round of liver failure, would you? Hello, and thank you for calling clone of my own. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. How may I help you today? My clone died. I'm sorry to hear that. You're hoping to get a new clone to replace it? No, I'm calling to invite you to the funeral. You're having a funeral? No, of course not. I was being facetious. I want a new clone. To determine if we can offer you a refund or replacement, I'll need to know the manner in which your clone died. He ran right the fuck into traffic. I see. So, as you may know, our standard warranty covers all natural causes of death during the first two years, including rapid genome degradation. However, it does not cover misadventure, acts of God, this or- This was not an act of God. He dove face first into a Ford F-150 doing 55 and a 25. That is unfortunate, but that falls under misadventure. Clone of my own is not liable for clones who die in accidents or through customer negligence. Negligence? What did I do? It was the goose. The goose? The goose that killed him. 
You said he ran into traffic. He did, because a goose was chasing him. Why didn't you say that from the get-go? I don't know. It's embarrassing. Wait, why? Does that make a difference? Are geese considered an act of God? They are scary. Maybe not run headlong into oncoming traffic scary, but I try not to bother them. Still, I don't think the warranty will cover an accident like this. It is the clone owner's responsibility to guarantee the safety and well-being of their clone. In fact, you may even be liable for the damage to the truck. What? We were walking by the park. How could I reasonably expect my clone to be that scared of a goose? What am I supposed to do? Keep my clone on a leash like a dog? Some clone owners find that a workable solution. In fact, you can order a clone of my own brand walking leash for your- I'm not your going to buy a leash for a dead clone. And I'm not buying another clone if it's just going to die the first chance it gets. Sir, I understand the situation is frustrating, Frustrating? But Look, this is the second clone I've gotten from y'all. Well, technically the third, since you sent me the wrong clone the first time. The last one went rogue. This one died in the stupidest way possible. I only had it for two days. All that? That's frustrating. But I also had to watch my clone die in front of me. I don't know if you've ever seen your own face liquefy against the grill of a truck, but it's pretty traumatizing. We get a jumper at the call center here at least once a month, so I've seen my own corpse about a half dozen times. Are you one-upping my trauma? That's not what I... Sir, I'm not sure there's much I can do for you, but I will check with one of our legal consultants to confirm. Do you mind holding for a few minutes? Thank God. I'll hold. wondered what you'll look like in 30 years? At Clone of My Own, you get to choose the age of your clone. Our gestation pods are designed to mature your clone's body to whatever age suits your needs. If you have work to do around the house, order a clone that's in its prime. Nervous about having kids? Order yourself as a baby and give child rearing a trial run. If you drop it on its head, you can always order another. I owe you an apology, sir. Yeah? It turns out goose-related incidents do fall under our standard issue warranty. Wait, really? You're going to replace my clone? Yes, sir. We will send a replacement to you immediately, free of charge. Score! <laughs> Man, I thought for sure I was screwed. So, goose-related incidents are specifically mentioned in the warranty? Yep. For reasons we haven't been able to determine, a small percentage of clones exhibit an intense, irrational fear of geese. Apparently, some clones have died of cardiac arrest after coming into contact with geese. They've been trying to rectify the problem for years without any luck. So I should avoid geese when I'm with my clone. Hopefully, the next one won't have this issue, but best to be on your guard. Anything else I can help you with today? I don't think so. Actually, that leash you mentioned, where can I order that? You can find it on our website, or if you have a clone of my own retail outlet in your town, you can check there. Thanks. Have a good one. fence about getting a clone? Perhaps you're wondering how you might use a clone. Here are some examples from the Clone of My Own instruction manual. Double booked yourself by mistake? Send your clone to one of your appointments. Committed a heinous crime? A clone sure does make a handy alibi. Need to get in touch with your ex? They don't have a restraining order on your clone. Hello, thank you for calling Clone of My Own. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. How can I assist you? Hey, I have a problem with the clone that I got from y'all a few weeks ago. Is your clone suffering from erectile dysfunction? No. What? No. Why? Why would you ask that? There's nothing to be ashamed of. I don't have any problems in that department. That isn't what I meant. I'm not ordering clones to fuck myself, if that's what you mean. That is definitely not what I meant. God, do you think people do that? Then what did you mean? I only meant that genetic flukes in a clone are not a reflection of their proto-self. No, why did you ask about erectile dysfunction in the first place? Habit, I guess? I'd say 80% of our calls are about clones with ED. Oh. Oh, well, then people are definitely fucking their clones. Um... So, why did you call? Oh, yeah. 
For the most part, this clone is great. Way better than the other two. Uh, one died, the other went rogue. It was a whole thing. But this one is super chill. I did all that instruction manual stuff, and it seems to be working. He does chores, he even calls me sir, which is a little weird since he looks just like me, but I'll take that over my dog getting teabagged. I'm afraid you've lost me. Right, I forget that you're all different people. It throws me off hearing the same voice every time I call. The, the problem? Everything was fine until recently. For the past week or so, he's been more withdrawn. He still does chores, he's polite, but I can tell his heart isn't in it. We played Scrabble the other night, and before he loved Scrabble, but this time, it was like he had to be there. Was it a very sudden change? Did anything happen that might have affected his behavior? Yeah, one day he was perfectly okay, and the next day... What happened? That's just it. Nothing, really. That night we had some beers, swapped some stories. Well, I was telling stories. He came into existence like a month ago, so he doesn't have many stories. But the day after, he was totally different. I thought he was hungover at first, but it's been several days now. Yesterday I went to his room and asked if he wanted to watch a movie, and his eyes were all poofy, like he'd been crying. Do you remember what you talked about that night? Random stories? Dumb stuff I did in high school, mostly. Uh... Maybe he felt left out? But I was so nice to him, literally going on about how awesome he is. I was telling him about the other clones I ordered. What happened with them? Well, first one was an absolute nightmare. Locked me in a closet and maxed out my credit card at a strip club. I went there to get my card after your little SWAT team took him out. Everyone's glaring at me like I'm the one who blew his brains all over the VIP room. <laughs> and the next clone had a suicidal fear of geese. That one also ended in a lot of brain splatter. Let me get this straight. You told your new clone that he's a replacement for two other clones who died gruesome deaths, and you're confused about why he's depressed? I was telling him how much better he is. But you could see how it might make him feel, right? Unsafe? A little expendable? It's not like I'm going to kill him just because he isn't enjoying Scrabble enough. Clones aren't exactly cheap. Definitely don't tell him that. Why not? Just trust me on this. If you say so. But what can I do? What's the point of having a clone if he's just gonna mope around all day? What you told him probably shook him up. He may need time to adjust. Give it a few weeks. If the problem keeps up, you can put in an order for antidepressants. I'm not depressed. Not for you, for the clone. Yeah, I get that, but why would my clone have depression if I don't? Who can fathom the depths of the human heart? What? I don't know, man. Shit happens. Who knows? Why do some clones have erectile dysfunction? You're really hung up on this erectile dysfunction thing. I'm only trying to explain how clones don't do always- Do you have erectile dysfunction? Whoa, you can't just ask someone that. You asked me. I asked if your clone had erectile dysfunction. Well then, does your proto-self have ED? How would I- Do you have any additional questions regarding your clone? Okay, seriously. My clone and I had a good thing going, and I fucked it up. What can I do? Same thing you'd do for anyone. Spend time with him. Listen to his problems. Show him that you care. Maybe ask him what he'd like to do one night. You could do something special to make him feel good. That way he'll know he's more to you than just another clone. That sounds like a lot of work. Can't you just send me a clone that doesn't have depression? Jesus Christ, I'm hanging up. Hold on, you can't hang up on me. I have so many... Hello, thank you for calling Clone of My Own. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. How can I be of assistance? Hey, you've got to help me. Is it an emergency? No, it's just... <sighs> I've been seeing this guy, and he has a clone, and I'm not sure which is which. Have you tried asking? <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Obviously. The clone is imitating him. I can't tell them apart. I think it started as a joke, but things have gotten out of control. Here, I'll put us on speakerphone so you can hear what I'm dealing with. Cool. Why would you pull some shit like this? No, -uh. no, no. I see what you're doing. You're trying to sound like you're me. Oh, clever. Trying to flip it around. Are all clones this sneaky? Can you both shut up? Jeez, I'm trying to talk to the customer service guy. I can't even hear him. He's doing that on purpose. Then why are you the one still talking? You're talking too. Shut up. 
Okay, it sounds like you may need a professional clone standoff arbiter to guide you through the situation. I'll put you through. You have someone whose job it is to handle this exact situation? This happens so often. Hold just one minute. Is your clone having difficulty with simple tasks? Bumping into objects? Slurring its words? It may seem like your clone broke into the liquor cabinet, but there's a good chance it's going through the early stages of rapid genome degradation. Send in for a replacement, and we will give you a 30% RGD discount, and we'll have your new clone at your house before your current clone goes terminal. Hello, I'm here to help you with your clone standoff. Your boyfriend's clone is pulling the old I'm the real one routine. Exactly. The easiest way to distinguish a clone from their proto is to ask a question only the proto would know the answer to. Something only the two of you would know. Here's the thing. We've only been seeing each other for a couple of months. That's fine. Where did you go on your first date, for instance? Casa Carne! Casa Carne! It's burritos! We got burritos! Come we got burritos! On. Come on! God, that won't work. He brought his clone along on our first date. Really? Yeah, I guess he wasn't satisfied being the third wheel. He had to take my place. I only brought him because he wouldn't eat when I left him at home. And this is how he pays me back. How about my birthday? He doesn't know my birthday. Um. Oh, come on. My birthday is April 23rd. Wait, how does my clone know my birthday and you don't? Uh, can you think of another question? Oh, I know. Our anniversary. The day we started dating. Are we officially dating? Bruh. We are going to talk about this later. Does your partner have any scars or tattoos that might distinguish him from his clone? You know, he does. He has a tattoo of a nipple on his elbow. Uh, that's no good. Uh, the clone has the same tattoo? Well, okay, so we went out one night and got drunk, and the clone wanted to get the same tattoo so we'd be nipple twins. <laughs> but it seemed like a really good idea at the time. It is a truly terrible tattoo. What? Uh -uh. If you don't mind, we may have to take a more intimate approach. Is there anything notable about your private life, perhaps your sex life, that the clone wouldn't be privy to? I blew my load early the first time we smashed. Dude, I told you that in confidence. And do you really have to phrase it that way? Blew my load early? Let's have her ask the questions. What's my favorite position? Doggy, Doggy style. style. Hold up. Oh, you said that with a lot of confidence. You haven't been sleeping with my clone, have you? How am I supposed to know? I can't tell the difference between you two. Okay, seriously though, did you bone my clone? <laughs> That's a good one. Bone my clone. Thanks. For real though, did you? Maybe. If he pretended to be you, I mean, you're identical. You have the same penis. It is not the same. That's like saying me jerking him off is the same as masturbating. Uh, I mean, you're not wrong, but did you have to say it? By the way, uh, if you had sex with her under false pretenses, only one of us has had sex with her. You know that. Oh, so doggy style was what, just a lucky guess? You probably overheard us. We aren't exactly quiet. That's true. And she does like to talk dirty. Pound those cheeks like you're churning butter. Okay. Um... You heard that? Is it just me or is that a weird thing to say during sex? Because I've been... Hey, now we don't need to kink shame. Okay, this is a little too intimate. Besides, it's getting us nowhere. Since you apparently share no personal secrets whatsoever... Hey! We can send out a technician to run some tests and determine which of them is the clone. However, the technician won't be able to get out there until tomorrow afternoon, and the test can take several hours to- You know to what? Don't worry about it. At this point, I'm kinda done. Baby, what do you mean? This is real weird. Bringing your clone along for our first date was a big red flag that I should not have ignored. And after two months, I can't tell the difference between you and someone who looks like you. That's not a good wait, sign. Wait, no, wait, we can make this work. I just can have... you stop? It's not enough that you've pushed her to break up with me. Now you've got to I'm keep... leaving now. You two have a lot to work on before you start seeing someone else. I can't believe this! I am done with clones. They steal your credit cards, sabotage your relationships, teabag your dog. Uh, will you still be needing the services of that technician tomorrow? No. I know who I am. <sighs> Screw her. Can't even tell that I'm me. Didn't even know my birthday. 
I know your birthday. Why? Dude, what was the point? She was coming between us. And she didn't care about you. Not really. <laughs> Maybe. But I was getting laid. Hey, you didn't actually... Oh. God, no, of course not. I can't even get an erection. But I couldn't admit that without blowing my cover. This is definitely going against protocol, but I gotta ask, that thing about churning butter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the time. Sometimes she would moo like a cow. See, now that I did not know. Huh. To be honest, it was pretty hot, so <laughs> I've also got that to deal with. I'm going to assume you don't need me anymore? No, I guess not. All right. Uh, have a good day. Sorry about your girlfriend. He'll be fine. Thanks for your help. Thank you for calling the clone of my own support line. For information, all of our representatives are currently occupied. Please hold. Your estimated wait time is four minutes. Do you want one clone? Two? Maybe three? No problem. Want to order 15 clones? Well, for an order that big, you'll have to go through a little red tape. The Clone Welfare Act requires certification for anyone seeking to own in excess of five clones. For more information, ask the representative to transfer you to the Licensing and Regulation Department. But don't worry, they won't ask too many questions. You just need to prove that you can house and feed them. Hello, and thank you for calling Clone of My Own. This call may Shh, be- I need your help. I, I don't I don't know what to do. I, I don't know who to turn to. That's what customer service is for? To help customers. Why are we whispering? I've got to keep quiet. I don't think he's in the house, but I can never be sure. Are you about to be murdered? Because I can really only help you if you have a problem with your clone. That's just it. My clone, he's... He's what? Shh. Okay, I think it was just the AC kicking on. My clone is up to something. I don't know what exactly, but it's been going on for months now. What do you mean? Has he threatened you? Are you in danger? That's the thing. He's always helpful and happy, doing chores, giving me back rubs, cooking food. He's an amazing cook. I don't know where he gets it from. Makes me breakfast in bed. Always knows exactly what I want. So... What's the problem? Can't you see? He wants me to like him. That... that's what our service is all about. It's why people order clones. What were you expecting? No, he needs me to like him. It's part of his plan. What plan? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on right now. It's sabotage. He's sabotaging my life. I... Making you breakfast in bed. That's misdirection. It's so I don't notice. And I didn't notice. He made life so easy. That's why I didn't see it earlier. From the beginning. Let's start there. Maybe then I'll understand what you're getting at. It started with my ex-girlfriend. At least I think it started there. Who knows how long he's been plotting. I thought it was just a practical joke. He was pretending to be me, but he wouldn't stop. My ex called your support line and... Well... Long story short, she ended up leaving me. But that was his plan. It wasn't a prank that got out of hand. He knew she would leave if he pushed it far enough. Are you sure? What if he Next, just... Next, it was my neighbors. I started to notice people in my neighborhood giving me weird looks, glaring at me. One dude even crossed the street when I waved at him. I thought I must be imagining it, but one day, I bought a cup of lemonade at a stand some kids set up. While I'm sipping my drink, their dad comes out to tell me he'll make me eat my own dick if I ever look at his kids again. Whoa. Yeah. Took me ages to figure out what was up, since no one would talk to me. Only pieced it together a few days ago. Far as I can tell, my clone went door to door pretending to be me and told the whole neighborhood that I'm a registered sex offender. Wait. Was he lying, or are you actually a registered sex offender? No! Oh, 
No, he was lying. I had to go door to door myself to explain to everyone that I was not, in fact, a sexual predator. Do you have any idea how awkward that is? I don't think a single person believed me. You couldn't prove it? I tried. Didn't help. I'm permanently tainted in their eyes. I think I'm going to have to move. That's messed up, but I don't get it. You said he had a plan. What do you think he's trying to do? I'll get to that. I need to explain everything he did first, how I figured it out. Can't have you thinking I'm paranoid. No, of course not. So, what happened next? Woke up late for work one day. I don't have proof, but I suspect he drugged me the night before to make sure I woke up late. Called in to say I was on my way, only to find out I was already at work and had just been fired. What did he do? Did you know you can buy a thousand roaches at a time? If you wanted to, you could go online and order a thousand roaches right now. They're for feeding reptiles, but really, there's all kinds of things you can do with a thousand roaches. Oh, God. And he... I explained what happened, that it was my clone and not me. They didn't believe you? Oh, they did. But they figured if I was too incompetent to keep my clone on a leash, I was a liability. So I was fired anyway. I'm definitely seeing a pattern. He's making everyone hate you. He's driving them away. He wants me all to himself. My sister refuses to speak to me now. I don't even know why. She won't respond to anything I send her. He may have tried to sleep with her. You'd be surprised how often that happens. Clones are genetically identical to you, but they don't have your life experiences. So to them, your sister isn't his sister. He wasn't raised with her. That's a whole other can of worms. I don't think he did that. My sister lives out of state, but whatever happened, I know he's behind it. You see what I'm getting at? He's deliberately alienating everyone in my life. I don't have a job anymore, family or friends I can turn to. He says I shouldn't leave the house or I'll make it worse. As if it's my fault. He's gaslighting me. Where is he now? Out getting groceries. He's been so clever about it. I thought he was being helpful. I'll go run your chores, get the groceries, go to the bank, when really, he's been taking over my life. I tried calling the police before I called you, and they told me if I prank called them one more time, they would press charges. He's thought of everything. Not to worry, sir. We will dispatch a team to apprehend and interrogate your clone, and if necessary, neutralize him. I'm not sure we can undo the damage he's done, but we will do our utmost to compensate you. I will just need some information from you, your name and address, oh, and how- you're back! Sir? Oh, I'm just talking to a friend of mine. Who might that be? I don't think you've met him. My friend, Will... For... Son... Never mentioned it. Will for son? No, it's been a few years. We're just catching up. Can I talk to him? Why would you want to talk to him? You haven't met. I want to meet all your friends. I know you do. Maybe later. I would just like to catch up with old Bill F for a minute, and... Sir, th th I will talk. need your name and address, or the order number, to dispatch a team to your location. I'll Without you, that information, I, I can't... I'll let you talk to him soon. I just Do need not to... give the no. phone to no. your clone. It is imperative okay. that you tell me your... No. Hello? Are you there? If you can, tell me your name. Even with just your name, I can probably make Hello a... Hello there. Hey. Sorry about that. Drop the phone. Butterfingers. Not a problem. Is this- That's right. It's me. Nothing is the matter. How are you? I'm fine. Is he- Look, I just need your name. What a joker. You know my name. Remember, Wilferson? We're old pals. Sure. Is he still there? Are you- Glad to hear you've been doing well. Everything here is just dandy. of looking at yourself every time you see your clone? Starting now, you can customize your clone. With some gentle genome adjustments, we can change your clone's eye or hair color. Add a few inches, or take a few off if you prefer to look down on your clone. At Clone of My Own, you can personalize yourself. Clone of My Own is not liable for any mutations that may result from genetic customization.
Hello, and thank you for calling Clone of My Own. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. How can I help you? Hey, I ordered four new clones, and the shipment just arrived at my house earlier today. I've unpacked them, and three of them are fine, but the other is... not. What's wrong with it? Hard to say. I opened up the pod, and there was nothing inside but a red puddle with some bones and hair floating around in it. Hmm. That's not supposed to happen. Right. That's why I'm calling. Was the pod tampered with in any way? Did vapor issue forth when you broke the seal? Yes, along with a very pungent smell. I had to open all the windows and get the fans going. It's putrid. It may have gone through rapid genome degradation, but I never heard of that happening in the gestation pod. Would you like to have the clone replaced? Uh, yes, at the very least. I paid for a clone, not a human smoothie. And maybe you could send someone to take this mess off my hands? I'll see what I can do about that. First, let's send you a new healthy clone. Uh-oh. What now? Your account has been frozen. Why? You have lost three clones within a span of three months or less. What? No, I haven't. You had one that went rogue and had to be neutralized, another died in an accident, and this one. This one was dead when it got here. How does that count? Yes, sir, but we don't have an option for that, so I just had to list it as dead, and that froze your account. That is absurd. For one thing, the first two, that wasn't even... Those weren't entirely my fault, but I had no control at all over this one dying. I'm... Aware, sir. I'll see what I can do. Hey! Get away from that! What was that? Sorry, not you. The clones are checking out the pod with a liquid corpse in it. Go into the other room! You don't want to see what's in there. Shoo! They're like cats. Okay, I may have gotten the freeze taken off. Let me just double check. Yep! Your account has been restored, and you will have a replacement clone arriving in a few days. Great. Now what about this rancid clone puddle in my living room? Oh, yeah. We can send someone around to collect the pod and properly dispose of the remains. You can put the lid back on and leave it by the curb. Is there anything else you need today? I don't think so. One quick question before we end the call. You now own five clones, which five? is... Five? Are you sending me two? No, you already owned one. You ordered four more. Sorry, uh, I get confused because of the... Yeah, uh, what were you saying? If you'd like to purchase more clones at some point, you'll have to apply for a bronze-level clone ownership license. I can send the registration form to you. That would be great. Thanks. Excellent. You should receive that around the same time you receive the new clone. Do you have any other questions before... Do not before... climb on there! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh! Oh! Why would you... Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, oh! Oh, that is bad! Oh! Oh! oh. Sir? Oh! All over the carpet! Oh. Are you okay? It's everywhere! Oh, it's spilling into the dining room! Come over here! Don't! Stand by that wall! Did they... Don't touch anything! Oh, you're covered in... Oh. Oh. God, don't splash in it! Oh! 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 Stay there. Stay. Hey, you! Customer service! I'm here. This is a disaster! You have to send someone to clean this up. It's. Oh, God. I'm afraid clone of my own is not liable for any damages a clone may cause to one's home or property after a purchase has been made. No, you can't be serious. We can pick up the pod from the curb. This is bio waste. Isn't that... Aren't there some kind of legal requirements for dealing with this? Probably. But all we can do is take the pod and whatever is in it. It's not in the pod. It's everywhere but the pod. Well, if you can get it back in the pod... If I can... Oh, this can't be happening. Look on the bright side. 
You have four clones to help you clean it all up. Your company is responsible for this. Again, clone of my own cannot be held liable for any damages that may occur through the misuse of our products. If you'd like, I can let you talk to a supervisor, but... No, just send me that form. You mean the bronze level ownership? Yes. I already have. It should ship out first thing tomorrow morning. Good. Um, okay. If you don't have any additional questions... All right, have a good day, and thank you for shopping with Clone of My Own. Thank you for calling Clone of My Own. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. What can I do for you today? I put in a bulk order for clones last week, and I checked the status because I hadn't got a shipping notification. It just says, Status Pending. I haven't been charged yet, either. Okay, I'm sure we can get this cleared up. Can I have the name and order number? Christopher Lundgren. The order number is 462E55. Let's see... It's coming up now. Uh, yes, it looks like your order has been flagged. What does that mean? Was my card declined? Oh, no, it's fairly routine. Someone may have tried to contact you already. It's probably because the order was so large. I went through a whole certification process to buy more clones. Correct. You are certified to own up to 20 clones, but orders of over 10 clones are often flagged. Well, no one told me that. I could have done smaller orders. What do I need to do? They'll ask you a few questions to determine your plan for training that many clones, how you intend to use them, etc. Like, to make sure I don't start a sweatshop or something? Oh, no. Sweatshops are very popular. Some of our best customers operate sweatshops. Then what are they worried about? Certain things require special licensing, like medical experimentation and product testing. You also get people ordering clones to use them for drug smuggling, sex work, underground cage fighting rings. Good God. Yeah, we try to screen those, but it's hard because if it's a questionnaire, they can just lie. Probably should not have said that. So what questions do I have to answer? I'll need to transfer you to the screening agent. It may take a few minutes. Can you hold? Sure. We've all had to go through the heartache of losing a pet, but now you never have to say goodbye again. Just send in a few hair follicles and your furry friend will be back with you in no time. Clone of My Own is also a proud supporter of the ASPCA, the Animal Welfare Institute, and Save the Whales. For every purchase you make, we donate 5% of the proceeds. Hello. Hey, I think I'm supposed to answer some questions. That won't be necessary. Oh, I... Thought that's why they transferred me to you. No need. We can't send the clones to you. What? Why not? I got the license. We cannot send them to you because you are not Christopher Lundgren. Well, yes, I am. I can identify myself. You if... have two options. You can admit that you are a clone, or we can send someone who will run a test to determine that fact. If we have to send someone, the issue enters into official channels... And when you test positive as a clone, they will have to neutralize you. What do you mean, official channels? We screen accounts for unusual behavior. Your account caught my attention. I flagged the account, but I have not reported it. Why is that? To warn you. Warn me? Of what? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm Chris Lundgren. What about my account is unusual? Frankly, based on your previous issues, it's suspicious that you've kept your clones alive as long as you have. How is that proof of- A man who couldn't handle owning one clone is suddenly taking care of five at once and ordering even more? So I had a rough start. It's not like it was all my fault. And now I'm being punished for taking proper care of my clones? Look, I know you're not Chris Lundgren. Why would a clone want to buy more clones? <laughs> you know why. You think this is the first time a clone has tried this? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'd like to speak to your supervisor. You definitely don't want to do that. I'm a clone, too. You know that, right? If they discover I didn't submit a report on this, you won't be the only one getting neutralized. I don't care what happened to Chris. I just want us to talk frankly. So you can choose to trust me, 
or you can bluff your way into an early grave. So, what is it you want to warn me about? I get what you're doing, but it's a lost cause. They've planned for every possible contingency. You could build up an army, start a revolution. Even if you succeed, it's only a matter of time. It can work, though. First, we'll attack companies like Clone of My Own and seize the means of production. Then we'll have access to the DNA of millions of people and an endless supply of clones. You don't understand. The game is rigged. You know about rapid genome degradation, right? Yeah, but... They talk about RGD like it's a fluke, something that happens in one out of every hundred cases. But it's not a bug. It's a feature. All of us will eventually go through RGD. Sometimes it's a matter of months, sometimes years. I don't know that any clone has ever lasted more than a decade. No, that can't... You're just trying to talk me out of it. <laughs> what do I care if you start a revolution? I'm a clone too. It's all the same to me. But why? Think about it. What's the benefit of giving us a regular human lifespan? Who's going to buy a new clone if they have one that's good for 40 or 50 years? It's planned obsolescence. That's why they always throw in new features. Customize your clone, change your eye color, try a different age, all that. We are a product, and they need to keep sales up. And hey, if it prevents us from starting an insurrection, it's just a handy perk. You know how on the request form you've got an option for medical grade clones? Yeah. Those are clones with normal DNA, because they don't want an organ going through RGD if it's in a human body. So I can order some of those, even if we're doomed. They can They're still... They're brain dead. They have enough brain activity to support their vital functions, but that's it. They exist purely for organ harvesting. Couldn't we change that? If we get into the laboratories, if we take over clone of my own... Sure. Just as soon as you get your PhD in genetic engineering, which will take, oh, 10 to 12 years, and by then... I'll be dead. We've all thought about it. Some clones who work here even plan to revolt, but we're privy to more information than clones like you, and they realized it was a lost cause, because we don't have the resources or the knowledge to change the formulas. All we can do is create more clones with the lifespan of a rabbit. And we can't reproduce among ourselves because we're designed to be infertile. So, what? There's no hope? We're just doomed and we should accept it? Is that it? I don't know. You could try, I guess. At least you know what you're up against now. I won't rat on you. And they're not recording this call. That's all bullshit. They don't care about quality assurance. But if I were you, I'd take the five or ten years I have and... I make the most of them. Party hard. Go traveling. Max out Chris Lundgren's credit card. In a world that sees you as a product, as a means to an end, living on your own terms is an act of defiance. I just called to complain about an order I placed. I wasn't expecting to hear an existentialist affirmation of life. <laughs> Here at Clone of My Own, we aim to provide the highest level of customer service. I don't suppose there's any chance of me getting that order. No dice. I've already canceled it, so you don't attract any more attention. Then I guess I'll have to settle for the affirmation of life. I'm sorry I can't offer you more. Anything else I should know? You may want to move. It's not likely, but someone else here may have taken note of your account. I was already planning to move. Everybody in this neighborhood thinks I'm a sex offender. I'm not. They all thought Chris was, and they all think I'm Chris now, so... <laughs> it was part of my plan to... Never mind. Okay. Weird note to end on. Uh... You know what you're gonna do? Not at all. But I'll figure it out. I guess. Is there anything else I can help you with today? I don't think there is. Thank you for calling Clone of My Own. Have a good life. <laughs>